Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Just a Fun Guy, and today I'm going to be talking about it's partial computer security, partial getting files off your hard drive. What do I mean by that? Let's say you have some confidential files on the computer that you want to get rid of permanently, and you don't want to recover them. And you don't want to put them in the recycling bin because you can easily recover items from the recycling bin. <clears throat> and the recycling bin doesn't necessarily uh, do with the files off your hard drive permanently. So what's the solution? <clears throat> file shredders. As you'll see on my computer, I have downloaded five of them. <clears throat> and these file shredders I'm not going to... It's not going to be in any particular order the way I do them. <clears throat> but I do have a bias towards a few of them. And I think I might do those uh, at the very bottom of the list. But today, I have five file shredders that I'm going to try out. And uh, see which ones are the best at deleting files. <clears throat> now, I have this file here. That's how many files were in this folder when I first started. And I've been deleting since 11 o'clock this morning, and I still have over 219,000 files. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get to deleting. Let's get to uh, number five. Oh, now, Advanced System Care here has a built-in file shredder. And that's what got me into researching these file shredders to begin with. But it's a built-in feature in, in a bigger system, so it's not going to be included. <clears throat> These five file shredders here are their own, own things. So, the first one I'm going to test for number five is this file shredder. And this is the first one I used, and I've used this, this, I've used this one for a couple of months. So, with these files, let's go to the settings, and I think um, they're all going to be at their maximum setting. For or the maximum uh, algorithm, Se just to give an idea how secure is secure. This this algorithm here, seven passes, is military standard security, and the Gutman algorithm is put on the uh, highest algorithm on most file shredders. You won't need to go higher than thirty five passes unless you're Hillary Clinton or somebody with. Very uh, compromising evidence on their computer. So, testing this file shredder here. I have 2,019 <laughs> items on here. So, for the first test, I'm going to take 1,000 of these 2,019 items. <clears throat> and <clears throat> I'm thinking that's about half. 1,000 of 2,019. <clears throat> Actually, it'll be easier just to take 500 of these items, <clears throat> because that's a lot of uh, items. If I was to put all those items on my desktop, I, uh, the desktop would uh, crash and I'd have to restart it, and it's all from experience. <clears throat> but here is 500 items selected. I'm going to put these 500 items in this file shredder <clears throat> and all the items are here. It's on the Gutman method. Let's shred these files now and see how long it takes. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, it looks like shredding each individual item, it takes forever. Now, I'm going to stop it right here, and when it gets done, you'll, uh, I'll cut to it being done right now. That was actually uh, a little bit shorter than I expected. I uh, turned my camera off, and about two to three minutes later, everything was gone. And I don't know what's with my, uh, with my camera today. Take up the... Well, the way I uh, do it is... I press stop record and then I uh, finalize it. I, I uh, save it to a folder and then it uploads to that folder and it was taking forever. Long process. 
But uh, getting on with my file shredder, <coughs> I have about 15,019 items in here. No, 1,519 items, not 1,500, 1,519 items, because I got rid of 500 of them. And let's see how it does with a folder. <coughs> I think it's about the same with a folder. It's definitely not the fastest file shredder that you could use. But I don't think it's the slowest either. <clears throat> and this one's an older file shredder too. I mean, it does have constant updates, but I don't know about yours. And this one, I think I found it a couple of months ago, and it's, it's not that old, but it's definitely not the fastest that I've used either. Plus, it's on the yes, the slowest method. So the slowest method is going to take the longest. So. I'm just maybe uh, misjudging it, so I will uh, put my bias glasses down and not misjudge any of the other ones. This is going to take a little bit because it's on the Gutman method, which is 35 passes, and that usually takes a little bit. I will uh, stop the camera and when it's done, you know, we'll see me here again. I started this one about 7.23. In the folder, everything was all done and shredded about 7.30ish. And as you see, it's 7.31 at the time of this recording. And uh, <clears throat> to avoid telling you where I am, I'm not going to tell you what standard time. Or mountain time or Pacific time or whatever. So, the next file shredder I think I'm going to try <coughs> is this alternative file shredder. I discovered this one about a week ago, and I've, I've actually been using it all week. It's a great file shredder, and it's a lot, it's very organized, too. <coughs> Got 2019 more items. And as you can see, these items are going to vary right now, but I just happen to have gotten some, I some of the icons that I copied. Most of these files are not genuine files, they're just copies of files, two that are one kilobyte, so it's going to be easy for these file shredder. <clears throat> but take my experiment as, well, I mean, hmm, take my file shredder experiment, like let's say these 500 items, <clears throat> I say these 500 items are compromising or you just want to get them off the computer and not use the recycling bin which that's all good uh, I'm just rambling so I don't, and I don't know what I'm saying so I'm just going to stop now <laughs> so it looks like I can uh, <clears throat> use a simple one pass up to 100 and of course being this is a test of uh, the maximum, I'm going to use the maximum and uh, 500, 501 items shredded, doesn't matter. <clears throat> and it looks like this is a very organized one. It counted all the files, and it looks like I could delete all of them. Shows you the size. Change file sizes to zero, confirm delete, there's nothing left to process in, shut down program, shut down windows, good stuff like that. So let's see how it does. <clears throat> it's definitely a little bit faster than the uh, <clears throat> file shredder uh, with the blue bin. Which is actually one of my favorite uh, icons that they use for it. I like that icon. <clears throat> but it definitely isn't fast. Then it looks like I can stop it. <clears throat> And this is short and interrupted. Let's see what happens when I put it on 50. Let's see if it goes any faster. <clears throat> it does go somewhat faster. I can stop it. Let's see how it uh, goes on. Just how about a 
up seven, which is like military standard. <clears throat> that goes pretty fast on seven. This is like spreading up like no tomorrow. <clears throat> wow, that is fast. <clears throat> It was like too fast, so good. Wow. Well, it looks like it's on uh, <clears throat> 7, 8, 9, 9, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. <clears throat> That's all good and, good and full. Let's see how it does with just a whole folder. It looks like it takes all the items out of the folder and it counts them. And that's how I, why I say this looks like it's the most organized folder. I'm not going to bother deleting these on camera because it's just every item copied. I would if it was just the actual folder itself and not the items. But considering it takes all the items out of the folder and counts them, I will uh, uh, end this one right here. The next three file spreaders I have never used before. So it'll be a first experience for me to see if I can build a person. Now, this file shredder is called Delete Files Permanently. It's got a whole bunch of uh, uh, methods. Peter Gutman must be uh, the most Secure method all the way down to the fast method. So I do have 500 items I was going to put in here. It would be too long of a video if I just played around with all these. I might later, but I'm going to do it on the most secure method. So my 500 files. <clears throat> okay, oops, 700. That's too much. <clears throat> just plenty of files for a file shorter test. Okay, 529. Okay, I'm never gonna get to 500, but I'm gonna be too. <clears throat> okay, 500, just keep it there. Stick them, uh, looks like I can't stick them. Like I can with the other two. But I'm going to have to press add files. Go to desktop. New folder. Where is new folder? <clears throat> and let's pick a couple of items here. Couple of items. Open. Open. And it looks like this fire spreader is not even gonna work for me. So this one is out of here. That's really. The next file shredder I'm going to test is a super file shredder. I should hope I can actually get somewhere with this file shredder. I'm going to first start by selecting about 500 items like I, like in, I would uh, normally in this test. 500. Down. Let's put my file shredder right here, and I can do that, and it looks like all the items are all good. Before I shred them, let's see if it's at the uh, maximum algorithm, Gutman method, zero after wipe, wipe names, start. It's definitely taking its sweet time, but it is the Gutman method after all. <laughs> And 
it's actually doing quite a fast job for uh, being such a advanced algorithm for deleting files. Plus, a lot of our desktop shortcuts are only like one kilobyte, so it's not that much information that's deleting. <clears throat> Some of the, uh, most of these are going to be like one kilobyte or a uh, little bit uh, smaller. So, of course, it's going to go faster for me. But if you are deleting uh, programs and files that are more than how about one kilobyte, it's going to take longer. So, a little bit of common sense there. But this actually does a pretty good job with uh, t deleting these files. It's not taking long at all. And in no time, it looks like I am done. That was beautiful. Now let's see if we could do a whole folder. It'll start. And I got 1500 items at this folder. That's my uh, file short of uh, file folder. <laughs> It's taking about 14 times, two or three items a second. And it's probably, it's going to take a little bit longer because it's in a folder and it's a lot more items. So when it gets done, you'll know because I've got to cut to it. This super file shredder, it's a great shredder and all, but it's very slow. 95% of, 95 to 99% of all my files are shortcuts that are, you know, just one kilobyte and uh, they're not very big. And normally, if the 1500 files in a huge folder, you get to it in 5 to 10 minutes. This file shredder was going on minute 30, and it was only about 75% of the way there that I decided to cancel it and move on with uh, the, the last file shredder. So this one is going to be uninstalled along with this one that didn't even do anything. The last file shredder I have is this Tweak Now Secure Delete. This one looks the most interesting. Uh, I got 2019 more items here. Let's select my 500. My shot's a large amount of free out of the uh, folder items. <clears throat> Let's make it 504. I mean, just still a lot of items. Let's try add file. Let's try it this way. <clears throat> add file. Desktop. 2042, I don't know why it's named that. <clears throat> that should be good enough. <clears throat> Add the files to the shredder. <clears throat> you can see they're all added here. Let's take a look at the options. Double of passes, 100. Using Gutman method. It's good. It's this patient file. Don't know, don't care. Whoa, what the heck did I just do here? I don't know what I did. Let's try that again. Sad. Don't know if that's 500 files. It doesn't have a number thing. <laughs> Let's open it and see what it does. <laughs> wow, it shows them pretty fast. Done a little bit before you know it, it's there. That shreds them pretty darn good. <clears throat> before you know it, it's at <clears throat> that's a lot of files. It's all good. <clears throat> Let's go back, they're all deleted. 
How many files are left? <coughs> oh my, only 1600. Let's uh, add just a couple hundred more files. 1663. <coughs> Actually, let's uh, let's make this the biggest challenge for this one. Add the whole folder. See if it just adds the folder. Delete. That was ungodly fast. <laughs> I deleted those files in no time. That's definitely the fastest file shredder. Alright, I'll make a challenge for it. <laughs> let's get a new folder. And let's put... <laughs> hmm... Let's do... I'm at a thousand already, wow. Let's see if I can put 15,000 items in the folder here. Or until I... Uh, until I stop and uh, stop the camera, either way. <coughs> I had about 15... No, 1,600 items in that folder. That's double that 1600. That's, that's, uh, let's see if I can put fi over 5,000 items and see if it deletes it that fast. Let's do about 5112. Oh, shoot. That was not what I was supposed to do. Luckily, I can do this like ultra fast. There's about 1,600 items. Let's see if I can put 5,000 in there. There we go. All the items in this folder. It's got to take its time. Put all the items in there. Yada, 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 yada. This is a got like, three four thousand items more. This is a lot more items. Let's see if this tweak now delete can uh, put it up to the challenge. Not bad. Let's see if it could do this whole folder. Over two hundred thousand items. That folder. This is probably a little too much for it. Yeah, that's a little much for it to do it in five seconds. But, uh, that's all the file shredders I have for you. Well, that was the five uh, file shredders I tested out. I'm not exactly sure what I'm, the title of the video was going to be, and I like to complete it with the title of the video but uh like I said the fire shredders weren't in any particular order I just decided to try five of them went out to see if I wanted to uh, you know make them a permanent fixture I have my two the alternative fire shredder and the fire shredder and the blue bin which set those both of them are very good and I'm going to keep both of them the other three are going to be uninstalled and I'm going to forget completely about them that, that's just because I had the experiences I did with these file shredders on my computer doesn't mean it's going to be the same on your computer. So, everyone's computer is different, and you may have a different result with different file shredders. So just don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Watching my video as a part of your research is absolutely awesome. But I'm just one guy on the internet, so just make sure you're very careful, do your research. I, my name is just a fun guy, signing off. So long, YouTube.